Hello everyone. So let us solve another different type of problem on stresses in varying bars or you can say it as principle of superposition. So in last problem we have found out the elongation. Here he has mentioned elongation but he has said that found out the length of both the bars. So here he has given the total length we have to found out length of each bar. So you just go through the question a bar shown in below figure shown in below figure is subjected to a tensile load of 160 kilo newton means P load is given find the diameter of the middle portion. So here we have to find out diameter as well as length of the bar. So if the stress is to be limited to 140 newton per mm square means stress is given F find also the length of the middle portion. I just I said that we have to find out the length of the bar. If the total elongation of the bar is to be 0.16 mm means delta L is given and take E is equals to 200 kilo newton per mm square. So, ja, so just write the given data. So what is given data? P is given P is equals to 160 kilo newton. Now we have to convert it in newton. So 160 into 10 raised to 3 newton. So 1 newton is equals to 1 kilo newton is equals to 1000 newton. So next stress is given F 140 newton per mm square. So it is in newton only. Next delta L is equals to 0.16 mm. So after that E is given. Two hundred kilo newton per mm square. So we have to take it in newton. So two hundred into ten raised to three newton per mm square. So so one diameter is given. Means d one d one is equals to fifty mm. So if d one is there, then we can find easily a one. So area a one is equals to pi by 4 d1 square so pi divided by 4 into 50 square pi divided by 4 into 50 square 1963.49 mm square because area is in mm square only diameter is in mm then area will be in mm square if diameter is in meter then area will be in meter square so after that after that uh, we found out the a2 so for a2 he has given stress f is equals to p by a2 so p by a2. so we, so we have to found, find out the a2 then P by F. So P is 160 into 10 raised to 3 divided by stress is 140. P is 160 and F is 140. So 160 into 10 raised to 3 is equals to divided by 140. 1142.86 mm square. So A2 we get. Now D2 we have to find D2 so D2 so A2 is equals to pi by 4 D2 square now A2 into 4 divided by pi is equals to D square we got area cross multiplication A2 into 4 divided by pi is equals to D2 d square now d is equals to square root of a2 into 4 divided by pi so let us substitute the values so square root a2 is 1142.86 into 4 divided by pi so d2 is equals to what into 4 divided by pi 
स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ आठ सर सो थर्टी एट पॉइंट वन फाइव एम एम सो वी हैव फाउंड आउट दी टू सो नाउ लेट एस राइट दी फॉर्मूला सो डेल्टा एल इज इक्वल टू पी बाई ई इन टू ब्रैकेट एल वन बाई ए वन प्लस एल टू बाई ए टू सो वी नो द वैल्यू ऑफ डेल्टा एल वन वन सिक्स गिवन इन प्रॉब्लम पी एंड ई एंड एरिया ऑल्सो वी डोंट नो दी एल वन एंड एल टू सो नाउ लेट एस डू वन थिंग जस्ट टेक दिस लेंथ एज एक्स दिस लेंथ एज एक्स सो नाउ लेट एस टेक एल वन इज इक्वल्स टू नाइन हंड्रेड माइनस एक्स बिकॉज टोटल लेंथ इज नाइन हंड्रेड सो वी हैव टू इफ एल वन दिस वन देन नाइन हंड्रेड माइनस एक्स वी गेट दी दिस लेंथ सो नाइन हंड्रेड माइनस एक्स नाउ एल टू इज इक्वल्स टू एक्स ओनली एक्स ओनली नाउ डेल्टा इज एल इज पॉइंट वन सिक्स इज इक्वल्स टू पी इज वन सिक्सटी इंटू टेन रेस टू थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई ई इज टू हंड्रेड किलो न्यूटन मीन्स टू हंड्रेड इंटू टेन रेस टू थ्री टू हंड्रेड इंटू टेन रेस टू थ्री इंटू ब्रैकेट एल वन इज नाइन हंड्रेड माइनस एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई ए वन ए वन इज यूर वन नाइन सिक्स थ्री पॉइंट फोर नाइन Now plus L two is x by A two is one one four two point eight six. Now just keep this as it is point one six divided by one sixty into ten raised to three is equals to divided by into bracket two hundred into ten raised to three. Back to close point eight point eight. So now you just do one thing. Keep this value as it is. Keep this value as it is. So, if we take this value here, then one divided by one nine six three point four nine, one by one divided by one nine six three point four nine, five point zero nine into ten raised to minus four into bracket nine hundred minus x. Now plus you just keep x as it is. So one by one one four two. So one divided by one one four two point eight six. So eight point seven five into ten raised to minus four of x. X now point one six is equals to point eight. Now multiply this one five point zero nine into ten raised to minus four into nine hundred. Zero point four five eight minus multiply with x means as it is five point zero nine into ten raised to minus four x plus eight point seven five into ten raised to minus four of x. So point eight is multiplication with this value. So if point eight comes here, then it will goes in divide by so point one six by point eight. Into bracket point four five eight, so it is in x and it is also x. So minus plus, you do it. Eight point seven five into ten raised to minus four minus five point zero nine into ten raised to minus four. Eight point seven five into ten raised to minus four minus into bracket five point zero nine into ten raised to minus four. Three plus it is in plus so plus three point six six into ten raised to minus four of x. So point one six by point eight point two is equals to four zero point four five eight plus three point six six into ten raised to minus four of x. So now it is in terms of x. It is only a number. Then point two minus zero point 
bring it here. So 0 0.2 minus 0 0.458 is equals to 3.66 into 10 raised to minus 4 of x. Now 0 0.458. Minus 0 0.258 is equals to 3.66 into 10 raised to minus 4x. Now, x is equals to neglect this minus. So, 0 0.258 divided by 3.66 into 10 raised to minus 4. What will be the x value? Means L2. So, L2. 0 0.258 divided by into bracket 3.66 into 10 raised to minus 4 705 mm so you are l2 is 705 so l2 we got l2 is 705 mm so for l1 l1 900 minus x so 900 minus 705 900 minus 705 195 so l1 is your 195 mm so this completes your problem he has said that find the length of the bar so we have found out the length of the both bars so if you like the method of solving problem so please share as well as subscribe it thanks for watching